सो गाइज हेलो एवरी वन माइसेल प्रिय ब्रथ एंड वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल हेल्पफुल टेक्निक्स सो गाइज इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द एसेंचर ऑफ कैंपस ड्राइव टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर सो बेसिकली एसेंचर इज गोइंग टू हायर फॉर द रोल ऑफ पैकेज एप डेवलपमेंट एसोसिएट और यू कैन से एसोसिएट सिस्टम इंजीनियर और लाइक सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपर सो एज ए एप्लीकेशन डेवलपर और एप्लीकेशन डेवलपमेंट इंजीनियर यू माइट बी नोइंग वॉट एक्जैक्टली यू नीड टू डू सो लेटर विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वॉट विल बी योर रोल्स एंड रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज but before that let's discuss about the key uh, points over here so the experience they are looking for 0 to 11 months or 1 year here they have mentioned but uh, later we will be seeing what exactly the experience needed for this uh, specific position and salary they don't have mentioned over here but uh, salary will be getting around uh, 5 to 6 lpa uh, but yeah uh, it's uh, it's a fixed one and job type जॉब टाइप विल बी फॉर द पैन इंडिया दैट मीन्स बैंगलोर हैदराबाद पुणे मुंबई चेन्नई गुड़गांव कोलकाता इंदौर कोयम्बोटोर अहमदाबाद एंड भुवनेश्वर सो भुवनेश्वर दे रिसेंटली हैव लॉन्च न्यू ऑफिस इन ओडिशा भुवनेश्वर सो द पीपल दोज यू आर इंटरेस्टेड टू ज्वाइन हियर आई मीन इन ओडिशा दे कैन ऑल्सो ज्वाइन सो नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द लाइक दिस पोजिशन सो इफ यू सी दिस इज द एक्चुअल पोजिशन और द जनरल पोजिशन एसोसिएट सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर एस आई रोल and this is the entry level position at essential and uh, now let's discuss about what exactly you will be doing or like what exactly will be uh, like will be your roles and responsibility so uh, so this is the uh, always for si the requirement or roles and responsibilities are same like ability to anticipate and resolve and resolve the business issues and ideas and all like ability to build the codes and deploy and like test the products and all and uh, if you see here the uh, preferred uh, you know uh, preferred like uh, profiles or the skills they have mentioned over here so it is always same like uh, you must be having or like it is not must but is it is preferred to have the experience on hana and cds and like other knowledge like j2e and full stack development and also the dot net uh, ideas so this is preferred not mandatory and now coming to the eligibility criteria so if you see here uh, b btech me mtech mca msc and uh, uh, mca candidates are eligible but coming to the streams so if you see any engineering background candidates can apply like that means mechanical civil electrical people are also eligible but if you discuss about the msc student only csis or it students or the computer science uh, students are eligible because obviously other people will not be able to allow or like able able to apply for this position and if you see here the pass out till 2024 batch people are eligible that means if you ask me about the uh, batch uh, criteria so starting from 2021 to 2022 23 24 people are eligible for this position and 2025 batch is not like they are not able they will not be able to apply for this position and uh, no there should be no active backlogs while you are uh, going to uh, uh, on board and that means if you are currently applying for this position and if you have any current active backlog then still it's fine because they they are like just uh, you will be going through the uh, interview process so during the onboarding that means well when you are going to join essential there should be no uh, active backlog you must clear your all your backlogs and coming to the years of experience if you see here they have mentioned clearly that to 23 months of experience uh, full time experience is allowed that means almost 2 years of uh, experience is allowed more than 2 years uh, definitely will not be a entry level position uh, entry level employee so that's why up to 2 years of experience is allowed but at the at the top if you see they have mentioned 0 to 11 months of experience people are allowed but it is not like uh, actual one so actual one is the 23 months that means it's a entry level position and you must be must not be having more than 2 years of experience and full time of educational requirement is there 4 years of btech or course you must have completed and uh, now if you uh, come to the application process so if you are interested then you can click on the apply now to apply for this position so then it will take you to the application page over here so if you see here uh, the two options will be there so if you have already created an account in the essential portal that means career page or you don't have any account so if you have any account then you can simply click on this i have an account and you can proceed with the 
your email id and password to login and then you can proceed to the application process and if you don't have any account then you should uh, first sign up in this career page and then you should proceed with the application process so i'll be selecting this one that i don't have any account so once you have selected then it will take you to uh, this page where you need to you know uh, to the fresh sign up pro go through the fresh sign up process and if you see here the job role they have already mentioned i mean uh, it has been like disabled so you cannot select uh, any other role uh, here and also you can see the job description that we discussed earlier and if you see here the source details so you can select job board because this is uh, uh, like or job board or social media advertisement so i think job board will be uh, you know uh, will be more uh, uh, it will be more like relevant over here and then the job board name so if you see here there are many other job boards are available but this is youtube so you can select youtube uh, but youtube is not there so th you can select others and personal details the basic details you need to fill up uh, first name last name and university registration number email id so email id if you have already registered then don't uh, put this email id it will not allow you uh, because primary key is the unique uh, email id right the, it should be unique and different and primary contact number again the primary contact number should be different and whatsapp content consent so i will ask you i i mean i will suggest you to uh, go for this yes i consent that means uh, whenever they have update regarding to your application process or like application status you'll always receive the updates uh, through the whatsapp and coming to the data worth and all like you can select and gender and uh, uh, re residency like state and city everything you need to provide and then address permanent address and then the educational details so one by one you can provide the educational details like highest education first and then you can keep adding your educational uh, qualifications or the details in the descending order now coming to the work experience so if you have this is not mandatory because this is not in the star right or red star is not there that means it is not mandatory if you want to highlight your work experience then it's fine you can edit else if you are if you are a fresher or if you don't want to put your experience here if it is not relevant then you can uh, leave blank or uh, leave as it is or if you want to add then you can select the company and proceed with the uh, details and skill sets so if you see here primary skill set you can select but i'll suggest if you have any uh, uh, skill sets uh, as per their preference then you can uh, you must select uh, as primary uh, skill but if you if you see here the primary uh, the preferred skill sets they have like hana and .net and j 2 e and all so if you have these these uh, these skills then you should select under the primary skill and other things under the secondary skills and if you if these uh, skills you don't have then it's fine you can select over your primary uh, you know skill and the certification so it is not mandatory but i'll uh, i always suggest the students or the like viewers those who have completed any uh, it related certification they must uh, add here because they, this will add more weightage to your profile and it's a like kind of plus point uh, so language certification so if you have any done any language certification you can select else you can ignore and preferred job location so here comes uh, the three job locations they have provided or you can uh, select so uh, you can select as per your requirement or need or uh, you can say preference and then other details like you have completed the relevant degree within the type uh, duration etc and if you see your standing backlog and also you can select uh, either uh, yes or no then uh, if you see here all the basic details are there exceptional uh, uh, examination details like have you completed the final year uh, exam or not then finally you need to attach a resume and passport side image and then if you see here government id uh, photograph so you need to add your pan card over here this is the primary thing and uh, pan card number so uh, once you have uploaded this thing i mean pan card and all they will be verifying your details if you, uh, you have already uh, you know created an account earlier with some different email address or something so if not then uh, they will proceed with your details so sometimes what happen people get or receive the emails that your uh, account uh, is not there i mean uh, you have already an account with the same different i mean same uh, pan card with the different uh, you know email id and all so this is the pan card is the primary key or uh, primary identifier so i'll uh, suggest all of you if you have already created with uh, i mean an account with some email address then avoid these things because uh, your account will not be created successfully
and disability you can select as per your you know uh, i mean uh, if it is applicable then you can uh, read with the declarations on all like uh, you can then you can proceed and then click on the submit so i will not be able to submit this uh, because like i have not added any you know mandatory fields or details so once you submit uh, it's done for you and they will uh, you need to just wait for your turn and they will be sending an email uh, that uh, from the higher pro that there is an uh, exam scheduled online and you need to attend the exam before going through the other uh, rounds of interviews like technical hr and other interviews so i hope it's clear so i'll be sharing this link with you i mean job id and link with you so that you can greatly jump to the application page and apply for this position so i hope uh, it is clear to uh, you like about the application process and all so if you have any doubt regarding this or any other jobs or anything else then please let me know in the comment section below i'll try to help you as soon as possible so thank you for watching this video stay tuned for the next video thank you